Here comes Butler. Good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Croft. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. OK, Devon, we're going to have to ease off from the brakes. <laughs> Brakes don't feel right. OK, we'll have a look at it, but you're going to see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. So the gap to the car ahead, 2.1 seconds.
six seconds. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. Look, this isn't the first time we've seen Devin Butler go rogue, but the question is, what are Connor Sport going to do about it? Well, it's really hard, as we've seen so many times before, Crofty, in the past, so hard to control your drivers. In a way, they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. Very hard situation to manage. And working for the team, Kasper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. 
This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. It can't continue. They're just damaging the reputation of the team and their own reputation as well. They have to sort it out. I'm sure they'll be having words. So it's all changed here in Australia, and as the teams acclimatise to their new standings, so will we. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. Now, Devon, you didn't respond to a team order today. In Hungary last season, you said it was a comms issue, but Connor Sport claimed they didn't know what that issue was. So, are they hiding something? What's really going on here? Look, anything I say is going to be taken out of context. So I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team and we'll figure out how we can stop it happening again. That's, that's all there is to it. Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was tough, tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here, and it's frustrating to deal with anything that slows me down. You know, I didn't like it, and the team didn't like it. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? That always strikes me as really odd, like as if <laughs> the only reason that I'm first on the track is because my dad funds the team. You know, how, how is that an explanation? It's ridiculous. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season based on your performance so far? Actually, I'm sorry to say the team's got a serious problem and its name is Aiden Jackson. And I'm afraid to say he is the slowest driver on the grid. So there's only so good a season you can have with uh, something like that going on. But uh, you know what? We're going to try our best. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I'm, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But uh, come on, Aiden. Come on. What's going on, mate? That's great. Thank you. Could you take a look at this, please? in the bud, Cass. Do you hear me? Andreo. Butler, what was that out there today? I will not have a return to last season. We are a team. He cannot be allowed to do just what he wants. Then just calm down. I have it under control. Oh, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be raising it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, hang on, look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy.
No, it's a, well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devon's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fate. Which I thought was strange. The same thing happened the year before when I was principal, and he gave the exact same excuse. Yeah? You wanted to see me? Ah, there he is. You're a difficult man to pin down. Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are you talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly, like clockwork, so... I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. Okay. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure. Paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on. You're Devon Butler. You are the Paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on Daddy's money. It's, uh... It's making me second-guess myself. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the... the team narrative. Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, 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 Cass, Cass. Look, I I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah. Fine.
Nice move. Keep going. OK, gap ahead is 2.2 seconds.
judges it and clips the curb. What a mess. Devon Butler, with that move, is out of the race. He won't want to see that too many times. We want to see him out of the car, though. That's good news. Big relief there, although he does still look a bit unsteady on his feet, Crofty. Well, thumbs up to the crowd, but I'd imagine after that, he'll be quite shaken. It was his hearing. He'd been keeping it from us. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was at the height of his career. Yeah. What can you say? How did you feel? I, I was devastated. But, uh, five years in F1. Can't argue with that. I mean, most people never even get the chance, so. And I was still one of the best while I was out there. You ask anyone. How did you feel when Devon left? How did I feel? But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So, given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, Davidoff. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... Just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. Oh, <laughs> we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter, who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Hey? 